Welcome to the Sabir Khan Show. It's the ninth episode, and I'm really excited to talk to a very special guest today. Uh, Srini Srini uh, goes by the Twitter name at the rate Srini goes, and he's like the OG, like a proper proper OG in the Web three space. He's an Indian Navy veteran. Um, also, he is right now the strategic advisor of Metasky and also a member of Board of Yacht Club. So, um, welcome, Srini. How are you doing today? Thank you for the nice introduction, Savi. I am doing great. Thank you so much. And gang gang. So. Yeah, <laughs> gang gang. <laughs> so, Srini, I would uh, like you to briefly tell us uh, more about yourself. You're in Indian Navy. Right, and then uh, now uh, you have moved to Web three. So uh, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Yeah, so I joined uh, National Defence Academy way back in nineteen ninety five. So I joined there as a cadet, and I did my training from National Defence Academy, and subsequently joined the Navy. Got uh, commissioned into the Indian Navy as an officer in uh, July nineteen ninety nine. So uh, subsequently, I did my training, etc., and all that. Uh, so since uh, we are talking about Web three, I'll just delve more on the Web three part. Uh, yeah, the, the others uh, we can do a navy podcast separately. I've got so many more things to talk about at that time, but uh, uh, so after that, around 2006 is uh, when I started looking at the stock market and like I had a lot of interest in finance and all that stuff. So I used to look at uh, the stock market and the uh, interest was there in computers also. So everything was like uh, it uh, all came together and I got into the stock market, started following stocks, and used to do a lot of financial research. uh subsequently sometime in uh, uh, when we move on uh, coming to about uh, 2016 uh, right uh, 2016 is when i f- uh, uh, i think there was this exchange called zeb pay okay so they were in 2016 giving out these uh, so i used to do a lot of financial research so google sh- throws these ads to you right so when you go to the ad you start searching for stocks something else will come so that is how zeppay came up and i did a little bit of research and uh, zeppay was giving 50 rupees free bitcoin to everybody who opened an account so uh, free ke paise to koi mana nahi karta being indian yeah yeah i know But also this is you know the first time i'm uh, hearing about somebody like uh, getting value from an ad you know google yeah yeah i i love google. yeah i love google i, I mean it, it, see the thing is that uh, if you uh, i mean it it uh, if you what do you say blindly ape in to ads then it is wrong you have to see what comes and maybe something useful could come out of that do a little bit of research like out of the 10 ads that come maybe one i'll do a little research and find something that is useful yeah. so uh, since the algorithm already knows what i like right so i use it to my advantage obviously many people will disagree with me but uh, <laughs> i i i am a fan of that algorithm so anyway coming back uh, 2016 i had that zeppay account uh, and wow. in end 2016 i was at that time i was looking after the coastal security of uh, kerala coast as uh, i was in charge of the uh, there's something called a sagar prahari bal so i was officer in charge of the sagar prahari bal at cochin so i was sent uh, for a course to the usa so there's a naval postgraduate school in Calif- uh, in california and there they had a anti terrorism course for uh, anti terrorism anti piracy course for all international uh, uh, people so indian navy had selected me i went there and in 2016 towards the end if you remember there was that demonetization happening so like exactly. end november de- december exactly at the time when i had to go to the us so it was a lot of uh, i still remember delhi airport mein there was no uh, cash in any of the atms and all that uh, uh, jamela was going on so uh, okay. im- imagine the situation at that time i find out that suddenly the government can stop your money and then i go to the us and in the us when i'm watching tv in the evening they have this discussion on tv about bitcoin and i didn't know the term at that time the fud the fear uncertainty doubt the fud and that's what they were doing they were all laughing at bitcoin and uh, doing a lot of matlab uh, making jokes about bitcoin and uh, uh, i did a little bit of research till that time i had not done much research and that is when i realized ki bitcoin ka idea was that Uh, governments and central banks control the money and any time they can shut it off and suddenly demonetization came to my mind ki abhi to demonetization hua hai 
and then i looked at my zeppay account and uh, jo bitcoin i think uh, in when i opened my zeppay account bitcoin was around 60000 per bitcoin and by the time this demonetization happened india mein the price had gone up to 3 lakhs so in just 3 months it had gone 6x so i said matlab ki stock market to 10% 5% dekhte hain yahan to it's very i mean uh, 600x so then <laughs> yeah yeah so i mean i got into cryptocurrency with the idea that maybe in the whenever i retire in the future i should be able to make something uh, big out of myself and all that uh, which is wrong obviously we'll come to that <laughs> so uh, i didn't want to go into it for the speculative aspect so once i started researching then yeah, again the google Ar- algorithm throws you all these icos that started sometime in mid 2017 so after i came back to india i didn't really invest in bitcoin at that time but uh, i started looking at icos and all a lot of a lot of these icos had such fantastic ideas i mean like they were world changing ideas but the little did i realize it's like the dot com boom ki everything looks good when markets are going up and everybody is making money all these guys were sitting in their basements making white papers and selling it to people like us ki <laughs> ico and all that so i got scammed in lot of icos in 2017 learned the lesson the hard way uh, so by and subsequently 2018 rbi banned cryptocurrency and a lot of my money was stuck in indian exchanges which i couldn't take out so it was it was a tough lesson learned my first lesson is don't unnecessarily invest money in speculative assets and matlab uh, without doing enough research so that was how i started 